Hello, viewers. The topic is what is a glomus jugular tumor. Uh, a glomus jugular tumor is a tumor of the part of the temporal bone in the skull, and that involves uh, uh, the middle and the inner ear structures. You know, uh, this tumor can affect the ear, uh, the upper neck, uh, base of the skull, and the surrounding blood vessels and the nerves. You know. Uh, well, the glomus jugular tumor grows in the temporal bone of the skull, and uh, uh, which is the area is called as the jugular foramen, you know. And uh, this area is also where the jugular vein and the several uh, important nerves uh, uh, exit the skull, you know. You know, this area contains uh, nerve fibers called uh, glomus bodies and normally these nerves respond uh, to changes in body temperature and uh, blood pressure. Now these tumors most often occur later in life around uh, between somewhere age 60 or above you know or 70s you know. But they can appear at any age. So the cause of the, uh, this tumor is unknown and in most cases there are no known risk factors. Now, uh, Glomus tumors uh, have been associated with the changes uh, in the genes responsible for the enzyme uh, uh, succinate, you know, uh, succinate uh, uh, dehydrogenase, also known as uh, STHD. You know. So the mutation in these genes, you know, uh, is the cause mostly. So it has been associated, in fact, you know. Now next, what are the symptoms of uh, uh, the glomus jugular tumor? Well, the most important symptoms are like uh, difficulty in swallowing, which is known as uh, dysphagia, you know, or dizziness, or the hearing problems, or the loss, you know, and uh, hearing pulsations in the ear, and the hoarseness, you know, and the pain, you know, and the weakness, or the loss of movement in the face, like uh, facial nerve palsy, you know. So these are the important symptoms, you know, which are associated with the, um, and this kind of tumor, you know. The next thing is how to diagnose or how your doctor will diagnose that uh, you have uh, uh, this uh, glomus cellular tumor, you know. Well, after the physical examination and uh, taking the medical history, oh, he will uh, order a few tests like uh, cerebral angiography, or uh, CT scan and uh, MRI scan, you know, so these uh, uh, are the imaging tests that are used to find out any tumor, you know. And once it's diagnosed, uh, what are the treatment options? Well, the good thing is that it's very rare that uh, these uh, uh, jugular tumors are cancerous. And most of the time, uh, they don't tend to, pre uh, to spread to other parts of the body, you know. And the treatment may be needed to relieve the symptoms. And the main treatment is surgery. And uh, it's complex. And most often done by the neurosurgeons, you know. Uh, head and neck surgeon as well. And the ear surgeon. So it will be a team of doctors, you know, who will perform this uh, surgery. Now, in some cases, the procedure called... Uh, Embolization is performed before surgery to prevent the tumor from bleeding too much during the surgery, you know. And uh, after surgery, radiation therapy may be used to treat any part of the tumor that could not be removed completely, you know, as you know, it's a very complex neurosurgery, you know. So some uh, uh, glomus tumors can be treated with uh, uh, stereotactic uh, radio surgery, you know. Uh, so these are the treatment options, you know. The next thing is uh, prognosis or outlook, you know. Well, the most common, compli uh, most of the time, you know, the people who have surgery or radiation tend to do well, you know. And uh, more than 90% of the cases uh, uh, are cured. The next thing is what are the complications? Well, there are, the most common complications are due to the nerve damage, you know, and uh, which may include like uh, change in the voice or difficulty in swallowing or uh, hearing loss or paralysis of the face or facial palsy, you know. So these are the most important complications. 
Uh, thank you very much for watching this video. If you need more information about this one or any other medical condition, you can visit our website www.diseasesandtreatment.com And please do not forget to subscribe this channel for more informative videos every day. Thank you. Goodbye.